as a woman, there's maybe nothing worse than really, really, really bad cramps. So those of you women out there, I know will relate to this, and this is a video for you. I'm Alicia, and this is Mobility Mastery Monday, and I'm gonna teach you how to um, get help eliminating cramps while you're on your period if you have a partner willing to help you. Um, now, it's my opinion that cramps can happen for a lot of reasons, some of them being hormonal, and that is not something we are going to address. We can't really address that with fascia or fascia release work, but um, it's my opinion and it's been my experience both in my body and with friends I've worked on that um, I think one of the reasons we get cramps is if the fascia in our abdomen is really restricted and bound up and the blood that's trying to flow is getting stopped. It's like hitting a dam. Um, so I've worked on people, um, really just friends, I actually don't do this one on clients, so um, this is one I've just done on friends, but I've done it on them when they have their period and they're cramping, and often their cramps um, will go away, um, or maybe get 80% eliminated, but hey, 80% <laughs> is awesome. So um, this is one you can try uh, with friends if you want to see if you can eliminate your cramps. So this does require a partner, someone willing to learn how to work on you. And um, I'm gonna give instructions to both of you right now before showing you the technique. So um, if you are the woman who has cramps and you're getting worked on, um, this work should not be excruciating. It's gonna suck, um, but it should be bearable. Uh, and as the person working on the woman with cramps, you wanna make sure you are not really pushing into the abdomen hard um, or you know like digging around too much and they need to be able to breathe through it uh, that breathing is really important this will kind of make sense in a minute when I show you the technique but your fingers are going to be in the abdomen and they need to come out with the inhale and then sink on the exhale if you hold your fingers in there through the inhale and exhale it's going to be um, Kind of counterproductive and they're going to tense up and it won't actually get released and it's not going to feel like it should feel. Now it's really important to be aware that you know we have a bunch of organs here this is a pretty sensitive area um, you do not want to be in the belly button that's a very very sensitive spot it's an endangerment site you don't want to poke into it so make sure you're at least like an inch an inch and a half away from the belly button while doing this work. Um, so if you're gonna do this on someone when they have their period, you wanna ask them exactly where it's hurting the worst and go to that first. Um, and maybe do that spot for about 20 seconds and then come off, let them breathe for a couple minutes or a couple seconds, and then ask them if it's moved, um, and usually it will. And you wanna to go to where it has moved to next. And I've often found that there could be maybe anywhere from three to four or five, probably five at the most spots that you want to go to. I would not do anything over five. Another tip um, for this one, uh, for both of you, but specifically the person doing the work, um, when you get your fingers on a really tight knot and you have a, a what I call a, a really good spot, um, you might actually feel their heartbeat in it suddenly, and that's a really good sign. If you find that you're on a really good spot and that's probably going to get them the best result. Um, now, if you're the woman who has cramps and you don't want this work done while you're cramping, because I can tell you it's going to be a lot more, um, let's say, intense than getting it done while you're not on your period, um, you could certainly do uh, the self-help um, abdominal release work that I have. Uh, we'll link to a video here that you can do um, leading up to your period. So. You really can't overdo that work too much, so you know you could do it daily or you could do it, I don't know, once a week leading up to your period and see if it helps or maybe like when you're premenstrual, um, the couple days before you get your period and see if it helps that way if you don't want to undergo this while you're on your period. So it, basically we're going to be looking for adhesions or knots in the lower abdomen specifically, but anywhere in the belly region. What I'm going to do is basically feel around for <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully they're not super ticklish <laughs> um, for the best spot, which is going to be like an area of tightness. Or if they're actually on their period and they have cramps, you could ask them to point to exactly where it's cramping. That's usually what I do. Um, so let's pretend you're on your period now and you tell me like where, where would you usually cramp? Okay. So I'm going to go to like the exact site she's pointing to. And I'm going to have your, uh, I'm actually going to use 
my fingers kind of like a small fist in a weird way. I'm just kind of closing them together to make a tool. Make sure you don't have super long nails. I'm gonna take a breath into your belly and let it out. So I'm gonna sink in and then twist and then have you breathe, breathe in and out. And I'm gonna come up with her breath and then sink in on the exhale. Yeah, in and out. And with each exhale, I'm gonna sink a little lower and twist. So I want to make sure to go both ways. Oh, I know, it's so fun. <laughs> okay. And often this will actually like move it. And so I might ask her like, where is it now? And she might point to a different area. Like maybe, yeah, it goes up or down or left or right. And you just kind of keep chasing it. And maybe you'll do three or four spots, but I'll show you this again one more time. Um, so she, there we go. Uh, so take a breath in your belly, let it out. Now I'm not trying to push really hard into her. I'm um, just trying to stay on top of the knot that I find, and you might have to actually chase it. Yeah. Two more breaths. Nice. So now I'm going the other way. And awesome. <laughs> um, so basically, we're just trying to break up that knot. So as most of you know. We're always trying to pin and release the fascia through it moving. So my hand uh, or my fingers are pinning it and then her breath is actually what's releasing it or using the movement to actually like stretch it out. Okay, so go ahead and try this um, if you feel up for it. And just a few reminders, make sure you don't have long fingernails if you're the person doing the work. Um, if you're the person receiving the work, make sure to communicate if it feels like too much, too intense feels wrong to you, um, maybe have them stop and then just try the self-help stuff on your own first before attempting this while you're on your period. And of course, listen to your body. It knows best. And let me know what happens with this. I'd love to hear from you. Um, this is kind of a unique, weird, weird one, um, but I really love it. And I love helping my friends who have their periods and getting worked on myself if I can. Uh, and if you liked it, like it and share it. Um, help a girlfriend out, and I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.